Well, hi everyone. My name is Alex Petronak. I'm, I'm a product evangelist at Croatia and welcome to the no-codein manufacturing industry, where today we're going to be talking about one of the possible use cases that can be applied in the manufacturing industry, specifically around marketing automation through marketing campaigns and marketing distribution funds. Today, we're going to be looking at different various capabilities that Croatia offers in order to automate and simplify the connection between the marketing department and the rest of the business, which ultimately will be removing the friction in the uh, data connections and data sharing, and of course, in utilization and recycling of the data in your CRM systems. That being said, let's move on to the live system. And don't forget to ask your questions in the chat area. We're gonna make sure to answer them after the live demo. So. First of all, now, of course, anytime that we talk about a day in the life of any user of the system, we talk about how do our home pages and dashboards support their operations and support the overall overview of the performance of each individual user and, of course, of the system in general, which is absolutely crucial when it gets to the marketing uh, automation and to marketing department in general. But of course, overall, the analysis of data does not end and does not just get limited to the home pages where we do provide the dashboarding functionality and capabilities that allow us to scale and allow us to have a more complete overview of all of the possible touch points and analytics that are relating to the marketing engagements and relating to marketing, um, marketing efforts. But where does the whole marketing engagement start with? Now, of course, the core and the probably one of the main areas for our marketing data analysis would be understanding of the multiple profiles of contacts or leads that we might be engaging within our marketing efforts. And this is where we might be looking at each individual contact to understand the granularity of data that we can actually collect and we can use in our marketing efforts. From the very beginning of understanding the high level of overview analytics around ABM engagements, right? Understanding the overall base social demographic segmentation of this contact. And of course, the overall permissions around communication options, right? If they are subscribed to our emails, if we actually have the permission to reach out to them through the GDPR compliances. And of course, what were the previous types of engagement that we have with, with each individual contacts? through bulk emails, through ABM campaigns, through overall marketing campaigns that we as well support, right? Through all of the marketing events where we could have been targeting these contacts, all of the leads that could have been registered, the similarity in data that we're capturing from the website as website behavior and website visitors. So Creation provides a very strong core and very strong basis that allows us to first of all build the foundation for each of the marketing engagements that we would like to uh, run on top of the platform, which in the end result in us having a very comprehensive and very granular way of actually filtering down and segmenting all of the concepts within our database through foldering, right, through appliance of machine learning models of creating additional uh, additional marketing segments that we could be as well utilizing through lookalike audiences. And all of these features, of course, are delivering an exceptional value to our customers, to our partners in using the marketing engine of Creatio across all industries, but specifically in manufacturing to then actually have a higher level of conversion between target and lead. And that being said, let's just move around to our campaigns area where the, the magic actually happens, right? And for example, let's have a look at one of those campaigns that could be actually built in top, on top of Croatia. And of course, uh, the, campaign, uh, the campaign area itself is the centric to all of the marketing engagements because it really allows us to have this control center of planning and execution of the marketing communication strategies that the application and the platform itself will be running in complete automated fashion, right? This is where we can actually see how many participants were planning to reach out to, how many of them have reached after the campaign has been completed, right? Have all of the workflows that are gonna be standing behind the campaign in preparation, approval, and then actually execution of the campaign and as well the ability to actually understand and look at all of the ABM analytics, right, and all of the audiences that have been participated. But 
of course in this case what is as well quite important is the understanding of the overall capability and the tool set available to marketeers in the manufacturing in building these communication flows and this is probably the screen where i could be standing for the rest of this demo because the campaigns engine is incredibly powerful and rich in different ways of applying the strategy of the communication that the organization would like to execute on top of their target audiences. Starting with the point and the fact of engaging multiple segments of the participants, either through the previously selected ones, or even if we, for example, like to add a new dynamic participation list into the campaigns. And of course, to continue with this uh, overview, we can talk about different ways of engaging, for example, to actually have uh, the execution of the campaign pause until a specific day and time of the day, right? To be able to dynamically eliminate duplicates, to engage the target audiences through multiple channels of communication that would be as well supported by our machine learning models. And how do we actually want to uh, identify which channel is going to be best to engage? Classic email marketing, perhaps this should be a text message that is going to be sent out through messaging platforms or as well other channels that are going to be supported within Creatures platform together with different, uh, different add-ons provided by our marketplace where all of our partners and even customers themselves are developing additions and extensions to the core platform of marketing automation functionality of Creation. Now, of course, in this case, the Campaigns engine might as well be dynamically managing the data in the application, increasing and decreasing lead scores based on their engagement level, right? Drive the participants to uh, go to the website, to download content, to provide RSVPs. No matter what is your specific use case that you're looking to achieve, Creatio is going to be able to deliver the automation capability around these marketing engagements simply because the tool is designed as a variety of different functions and functionalities that could be mixed and matched all together to achieve the desired state and the desired engagement with your target audiences. And of course, from there, as we've previously seen, right, after we run all of the engagements through our marketing engine, right, we can then, of course, dynamically analyze the performance of these campaigns and how exactly we're going to be uh, connecting the leads that are going to be that are going to be generated to the campaign itself. Now, of course, throughout the overall uh, functionality of Croatia, we of course have multiple different tools and variety of actions that are, will be as well supporting our marketing engagement uh, strategies, right? Through event management, through bulk email, through landing pages, through marketing plans and others. But overall, all of the effort that the marketing department is gonna be applying uh, to generate, uh, to convert target audiences is gonna result in our leads being generated in the application. And this is where we, of course, have multiple different options to support lead management processes that will be dynamically guiding our users in, uh, first of all, by dynamically distributing the leads, right, based on any variety of criteria, run drop and based on geographies, based on capacity, based on uh, skill sets, and of course, include uh, machine learning models in order to my, uh, machine learning models in order to deliver additional machine generated insight in how hot this lead is, how likely it is to be converted in the nearest time, where of course our deduplication and global search capabilities will be as well supporting the users in identifying any possible previous interactions that we had with similar leads to understand if there have been multiple registrations already, or perhaps this is the unique lead that has been previously generated. Now, of course, throughout the functionality around lead management, right, in addition to having the options of quickly populating and enriching data on the leads from third party sources of data, we can, of course, understand the overall uh, engagement with the leads, right? If there were any activities that were captured through social media platforms, how exactly we've generated and captured this lead, right? What are the current data privacy permissions that we have for this lead as well? And of course, after following our lead management process that is gonna be supported by both our DCM and BPM engines, we can as well look into how this lead has been converted into an opportunity. And of course, as you know, Creatio is providing a single platform 
for uh, marketing, sales, and service automation that allows us to have the seamless transition of data between departments where none of the data is going to be uh, lost, where none of the data is going to be uh, con you know, disconnected between those departments, right? which again is going to ensure a higher level of reusability and recycling of the data. And of course, from there, we can as well talk about uh, probably one of the last areas that's going to be most relevant to the lead management as an attribution to be able to understand how we've actually been generating these leads, right? What were the different uh, attribution models that we would like to overview, right? That is well going to be allowing us to understand different measures and different types of engagements with our leads and our, uh, our prospects. But probably one of the last things that we would like to as well highlight within the demo here is, of course, the ability to as well engage third party organizations in participation of our marketing activities, right, in actually providing our partners through MDO functionality ability to promote the products uh, of manufacturing organizations and others. And this is where we can talk about a partnerships area where each individual third party organization that would like to be part of our ecosystem, part of our uh, marketing, uh, marketing army, we as well talk about how do we structure the overall profile, right? If we need to establish multiple levels of partnerships, what are the current points that they have achieved? Any uh, current active certifications and partner parameters, target or overall that has been established, and of course all of the funds and those marketing activities that they are currently working on and promoting. So the idea here is that within a single application of creation, not only are you going to be receiving very strong core to capture, enrich, and analyze the data around your existing customer base and contact base, be able to segment this data into multiple uh, target audiences based on combination of uh, based social demographic segmentation, the history of communication through marketing and sales activities, the ability to include such parameters into segmentation as in history of transactions or even behavioral data, and then engage them through dynamic marketing campaigns of any purpose of any use case but then as well engage third party organizations in becoming part of this overall ecosystem. And all of this supported by our local application platform that would allow our customers and partners to as well modify and build uh, any additional attribution in the application, any additional parameters that they are having as unique to their organization and as well include that data that is custom to the core platform into personalization campaigns, into the bulk email campaigns, right? Into building those segments and as well uh, enriched by the uh, marketplace of add-ons and apps that Croatia provides through the marketplace ecosystem, right? So as well enrich the ready uh, available functionality with other features that are provided on the marketplace. So that being said, uh, Overall, right, uh, as I've summarized, their creation is an incredible platform when it gets to marketing automation functionality through all of the different channels, right, through incorporation of third party uh, organizations, through MDF functionality. And I hope you'll find this uh, as exciting as I do. Uh, and right now, let's move on to our questions. All right. So uh, let me just look into the list of the questions that have been uh, provided by our broadcast managers. Uh, and okay, this looks interesting. Uh, we are a tire manufacturer. We've tried to launch several marketing campaigns to attract new customers, but it just seemed too complex for us. How can a no-code platform help us with that? So overall, I would say that a no-code uh, the no-code application platforms in general have a specific list of target users that are kind of the key users of the application in that case, right? And of course, there are many incredible and great marketing automation platforms that are very complex that do not provide the necessary level of functionality and ease of use of that functionality for each individual uh, marketing user. And this is where Croatia is looking not only to provide an extremely functionality rich system, but as well a system that would be very easy to use, that would as well engage the users into the process of building those campaigns, 
and that would as well provide the ability of quickly and uh, dynamically change to the uh, adapt the system to the changing business environment of the organization, but as well analyzing and understanding the results of the previous marketing campaigns that they were running. Uh, okay, let's carry on with some of the other questions. Okay, perfect. Uh, can no code help marketing managers build machine learning models on their own? And the answer here is absolutely. Well, at least uh, the Creations platform would definitely be uh, enabling marketing users and building their machine learning models. Because as a vendor of local application platforms, one of the things that we're focusing on as a vendor is not only creation of some of the out of the box already available, ready to use machine learning models that will support the operations of the users. But we are actually focusing on developing specific uh, capabilities for any uh, non-technical user to create their own machine learning models for different types of data prediction. And in this case, the data prediction uh, is not limited to let's say uh, only, you know, predictive score for leads, but we could do different types of predictions, for instance, like um, classification or regression, next best offer, uh, predictive scoring as mentioned, of course, in similar text search and look like Woody analysis. So the idea here is to allow each individual marketing user with very limited knowledge around uh, technical side of machine learning model and data prediction to create their uh, predictions within different use cases, within different uh, types of data that they would like to score, that they would like to use in building their marketing uh, campaigns. And for instance, identifying the well, the best channel to reach out and engage with their target audiences. Uh, I hope that answers the questions and thank you for uh, those questions. They're quite exciting. Uh, so let's, have, if, let's see if we've got another question here. Uh, do you think we should give or provide uh, marketeers the powers to streamline processes? Well, uh, I would say that definitely we should be, right? Uh, marketing users are, as any other uh, employee of the organization, very often get neglected and you know suffer from very unoptimized, unautomated uh, processes within their uh, daily activities, right? And delivering this well, at least some level of automation to their day-to-day -day work can as well make them be very happy with uh, what they do, right? Make them more efficient. And a happy and efficient user is basically uh, going to be supporting the overall productivity in their department and make the organization more uh, productive and have higher level of, uh, let's say, even conversions between targets and to leads Right, because they can spend more time in understanding how to influence this conversion rather than having to uh, you know, perform all of, the, all of their tasks and uh, you know, manage their operations manually and very slowly, I would say. So uh, at this point, I guess that I'm out of time for all of the questions. And uh, again, thank you very much for uh, participating in this uh, quick uh, webinar on the use cases for marketing automation in manufacturing industries. Uh, and uh, stay tuned with other sessions that we are gonna be running today. Thanks again and have a wonderful day.